So I just had the opportunity to watch this interview with a major teacher of the Alexander Technique, Patrick McDonald. He was one of FM Alexander's first students, and Patrick McDonald kind of carried on the Alexander Technique teacher training program after FM Alexander died. And Patrick McDonald has a very distinctive approach to the technique, and I really struggled with it for years. I kind of go, oh, say this is artificial, this wide stance, because you take this like wide stance in front of the chair instead of like a normal stance, but you take a wider stance, kind of open up the hips. And I'm sure there are other reasons for the wider stance. And you kind of learn to come in and out of the chair more vertically instead of tipping forward. I really struggled with this approach for years, but uh, now I've come to love it, because in some ways I think it's the most playful of the major approaches to the Alexander Technique. There are like a lot of games, there's like the swinger, and it's, uh, it's a challenge, particularly for the beginner, and... Uh, but it's rewarding. Like uh, I think Patrick McDonald said, like the first, you know, 50 years are the hardest. So I like that there are all sorts of different approaches to the Alexander Technique, and I like it the, the different groups within the Alexander Technique world. Um, that there have at times been internecine warfare between the various approaches to the Alexander Technique. For me, it's like Jewish life. I like that there's Reform, Conservative, and Orthodox Judaism. And that there are all sorts of different approaches to Judaism and to being Jewish. And that there's a lot of conflict <laughs> between the various groups. And so I like the same thing in the Alexander Technique world. So many Alexander Technique teachers want Alexander unity. And I want Alexander disunity. I want different approaches. I want challenges, critiques. The, the one thing that I like is when people strive to be fair and accurate, something that I am not always fair, nor am I always accurate, but I admire those who commit themselves to be fair and to be accurate as they assess and critique and challenge the various approaches to the Alexander Technique. So I think the major varieties of the Alexander Technique developed out of the teaching methods of FM Alexander's best early students, such as Marjorie Barstow, uh, Marjorie Barlow, who was FM's niece, uh, Walter Carrington, Patrick McDonald. So uh, those are those are the major schools of the Alexander Technique. And uh, Patrick McDonald is this <laughs> real character. And just watching this video of him, uh, <laughs> it's just so funny. On YouTube, he says, I've trained a number of people that turned out to be no bloody good. He says that Alexander teachers could hardly get worse. The first lot of qualified were pretty bloody awful. Some of them have gotten better since then, myself included, I hope. And uh, he says, FM Alexander himself was very clear in what he wanted done. He just wasn't very good in teaching it. He was not a good teacher. He was a brilliant technician. He was brilliant with his hands. But he was not good at getting his ideas into other people's heads. He was a pioneer and a discoverer, but he was not a teacher. That's one of the reasons why the thing has gone so bad since then. So I guess Patrick McDonald, just <laughs> just like me, uh, you know, loved to kind of challenge and, and provoke people. I, I never met it, met the man. He was he was dead well before I ever took up the technique. <laughs>